Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I will be sculpting a teddy bear. So as you probably saw from the um, thumbnail and the title of the video, I'm sculpting a teddy bear. And so this is for my less is more and more is more project. And last week I had posted a YouTube video about my Chinese dragon sculpture. And that was for my more is more half of the project. So if you didn't see the other video, basically the project has to, you have to create two separate projects. And one has to uh, make the visual argument that more is more. More detail, the size of the sculpture. And and then the less is more, um, it has, that's the second part, <clears throat> that's when I'm making the, the, the teddy bear. Um, less detail and, and a lot smaller of a sculpture. Um, but as you can see there, I did use a ruler to make sure I was still 12 inches in any direction, which was one of the requirements for the project. And then uh, here I just took um, a giant block of clay. I wedged it up, and I tried wedging on my desk, but the clay did stick um, to my desk a lot. And um, if you wonder, if you're wondering why I'm not inside my studio um, at the school or at the school working, um, it's because I'm on spring break inside this video when I made the sculpture, and I had to bring the clay home in order to finish the project. <clears throat> so I'm working all at home. So I apologize for some of the uh, the angles of the the recording. It's just really hard to record such a big sculpture, and this is a pretty big teddy bear. So it was hard to record. So I did start with a giant ball of clay, like I mentioned, and it was it was was not hollow, but I ended up hollowing out some of it so then I didn't have to completely sculpt it solid. And then this is what the bear looked like uh, so far. And of course, you can't fire, like I've said in other videos, you can't fire a um, giant block of clay like this. It would just crack and it would not be able to be fired inside the kiln without cracking, falling apart, or taking any damage inside the kiln. So to fix this, I had to sculpt uh, out and carve out the insides of this bear. So sadly, this is this is not what it looked like at the end, which actually I think is for the better because when I finish the sculpture, you'll see it does get a bit more fat. The bear does expand just a bit because when I uh, when I carved it out, you'll even see inside the time lapse in just a sec that the the bear head falls backwards just slightly and moves around. So I added the tail for the bear, and then I ended up, like I said, cutting this bear ha in half, and then gutting it out. So I had to gut out all its insides. I just took a wire tool from the base of the feet, or the middle of the feet, um, up through the arms, and then up through the head. And the reason I cut it like this instead of completely in half is because I needed to carve out both the feet, the snout, the head of the, the teddy bear, and the arms of the teddy bear to make sure all the wall thickness were completely even and thin enough for me to fire inside the kiln. And so as you can see here, I went in with some trimming tools, and um, I tried to use my other hand to support the clay on the other side and to see how much I should carve. And then I just kept carving away until I was satisfied with maybe around a half inch at some thick parts to a quarter inch in, in some thinner parts um, of clay. And this did kind of bite me in the butt because I've done this with the elephant sculpture I'd made before. Um, but this sculpture was a lot softer in clay. So like I said, it did get morphed a little bit. But I still am pretty happy with the way it came out. And I really like how cute and cuddly the bear looks um, with being so simplistic. And this was a really fun project. The less is more and more for a project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a pretty short video, but a pretty fun sculpture. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.